joined by Steve Walters, now the founder of the Offside Trust. Steve, can I just say as well, thank you for having us today, and it's absolutely, we're in absolute admiration of you and your organisation for all that you've done for around sexual abuse in football. So can I say thank you for that. Um, you set up the charity. How important was it for you to set up a hub and to show other men that they can come out about sexual abuse? Massively important. You know, it's been f football's dirty secret for, what, 20, 30 years? And it's, it's vitally important that, that men speak out too. And obviously, you know, for us doing that within football is the, the ultimate you know, male macho sport, uh, uh, um, so people say, it, um, vitally important. Um, myself involved in football since I can remember and um, for myself and many others that watch football, we're just all shocked by the extent of it. Is, was that the goal to really bring this to light? We, we all knew how many there was, and, and we still know there's, there's a hell of a lot more out there. Um, it, it's, it's up to them when they want to come forward, and we all know it's, it's an ongoing problem now, but for the numbers, are, they're in the 900s now, so it's, you know, it's, it's unbelievable. We're just glad that, that so many football survivors have come forward. Um, talk about the journey with the Offside Trust and the stigma around males talking about sexual abuse. Um, do you think that the Offside Trust has paved the way um, for people to come out and talk about it? And do you feel, still think there's more work to be done to reduce that stigma? Yes, we, it, we've made it a hell of a lot easier than it was. But there's still, you know, men still hide their feelings and don't, don't talk. You know, it, it's... With the Offside Trust, we're like a family where we, you know, we share our problems, we share our experiences, but we're there to support one another as well. You know, we, we want to show, and myself especially, that you, know, you can turn a negative into a huge positive. How overwhelmed were you with the level of support that you've received since the start of this journey? Public, media, absolutely everybody, it's been, it's been phenomenal. Um, don't get me wrong, we've had to go through the criminal process last year with Barry Bernal, but uh, it's had a, a bit of an impact on my personal life, but yeah, it's, it's, it's overwhelming. And just to cap it all off, two and a half years in, you've got this charity day, over a thousand tickets sold. Um, do you thank every volunteer that's come in? How much management and planning goes into an event like this and how proud of you that it's come off? It, it's, well, it's, it's been hard work, challenging, but it's, it, it's vital that we do this. You know, we, we, we don't still receive any funding, so it's vitally important that we can try and raise all the funds we can today. And you know, having such a fantastic turnout is, you know, makes it worthwhile. Um, are you proud of the team that's representing you today? You've got Mick and his speedos, but you've got players like Danny Murphy, Trevor Sinclair. How happy that people have turned out to play in this charity game. Absolutely delighted. You know, Dan, you know obviously Danny Murphy, an old teammate of mine, Trevor Sinclair, Didi Adabula, Lee Trundle, you know, some legendary names there. And, you know, I, I'm just so thankful that they take the time and effort, especially on Mother's Day, to, to, to come and play in this. Steve, thank you very much for speaking to us today. Again, 24-7 Football, full of admiration for you and your organisation. And I hope that you can just get bigger and bigger and hopefully we can eradicate this issue once and for all.